welcome back to Crisis Staff. And today we're going to talk to a person I already mentioned on the show earlier, if you have followed it, from the train um, yeah. to uh, COP itself, um, from Paris to um, to Barcelona. Yeah. And now we're here we're at, uh, at at Koi, and um, yeah, yeah, just before the final plenary. And I would love to share a bit about some of the things you've been talking about. This amazing game you created, which I also was able to. Um, play with today and learn about today and yeah maybe you can just start a bit about who you are yeah what you do okay. so thanks for the invitation Simon. and uh, I, my name is Cedric Cedric Ringenbach I'm from France and I, I'm a climate expert for about uh, 10 years I have been studying the IPCC reviews and um, and I have been teaching and giving conference about climate change for about 10 years and one day I tried something with my students I gave them a few uh, graphs of IPCC review to put in order of cause and effect. And I watch the, the, the students playing with the, the, the graphs like that, and I, I was listening to the conversation, and I was thinking, what's going on in this conversation is something uh, very interesting. It's uh, very efficient to learn and to understand the whole complexity of uh, the climate change. And uh, from that day, uh, I decided to use this workshop every time I was teaching climate change. So I improved it year after year and I was the only user at the beginning. Then after a while I started to give it to some friends and they said, well it's great because I'm not a climate expert and I can use your game and it's really easy to, to handle and uh, the people like it and it's dynamic and uh, they, they learn a lot. Uh, so I said, yeah, it's great. So I'm happy that you use it. And then I, I realized that I should spread it very much widely because uh, it, it is very important now that people get aware of climate change issues. So I decided to train more people to become moderators themselves. And, um, and here we are today. So we have created an association in France that is a bit less than one year old. And uh, we have uh, like 100 people who are moderators for the game. And we have reached uh, more than 20,000 people in the world. And the goal is to reach 1 million. So now we are on the track for 1 million. Yeah, I think it's super fascinating. I think you're on a good track. And I think I got a lot of people going to use it because, I mean, personally, for example, I have been, you know, I mentioned to you as well, you know, taking like climate um, change courses and kind of like lecturing, etc. I think the one thing is so important of like interactive element, like something can actually touch rather than just sitting and like getting like a one, uh, like you know, taught to you. And um, I think maybe one thing would be kind of fun to kind of show a bit of it because I think some people can get a bit of a better idea. And I think also one more thing is to kind of say that you know these cards are available, right? So people can download themselves. Yeah, yeah. And really, it's like I think a really honorable thing to do, like you know, as a tour for the globe, right? To, to teach about it. Yeah, because as you said, it's important to, to touch as many people as possible. So. I decided that it should be a Creative Commons. You see the, on the last card here, you have the Creative Commons uh, logo. Yep. And uh, it means that you can, uh, anybody can take the, the cards from the internet. We can, uh, you can download the cards and you can uh, print them and uh, you are completely, uh, it's completely free of use as long as you use it for, for free yourself. Yep. And uh, so then it's a way to spread it very largely. Yep. And uh, you can also, so you can use it for free, and you can also go in a company and uh, ask for money and, uh, and be a moderator for them, for team building something, for, uh, for training. And then in this case, if you make money with the game, it's, it's, it's okay if you do. And if you make money with the game, then you have to give 10% back to the association, and the association is in charge of spreading the game worldwide. So it can be it can be used in both ways, for free and also for profit. Yeah. And in this way, it, can, it will be spread even even more largely because you yeah. will touch big companies yeah. who want to use the game to, to train and to sensitize the, the, all the employees. Yeah. And I think it also can be a really good way to actually make money, right? Like I think for the people yeah. themselves, yeah. because I think especially right now, a lot of people talk about it. And I think it's a very smart way to say that the person who does the training benefits if they do it commercially, but also the entire project gets support, which I think is really important to make sustainable, right? And um, maybe we can show some of the cards just to yeah. give an idea. So you have like some some courses for, for, for I mean, you can explain probably better yeah, about we, climate change. We have uh, we have the cards like uh, human activities here, and we, we know that they use fossil fuel, and fossil fuel emits CO2, and CO2 is responsible for greenhouse effects, additional greenhouse effects. Then it will increase the temperature on Earth, and this will melt the ice, and later you will have uh, the sea level rise, you will have uh, uh, many consequences like uh, 
uh, where we have like the melting of glaciers, uh, heat uh, in the ocean, biodiversity and things like that. And you end up with a very big uh, complex graph that looks like this. So it's not one line, it's not linear, it's really two dimensions. Yeah. It's really two dimensions and you have connections everywhere on your table and the table is one on two square meters, two, two square meters uh, of table, of paper and uh, yeah, and you, get, and you get that in the end. So the first step is that you put the cars together and you reconnect them. Second, the second part that you make something artistic. So you, you will take uh, markers, you will take a lot of color and you put all the arrows in colors and you decide about the title, the, the team has to, to find the title together and also you will make drawings, etc. And this will be put on a wall, so that's what we call the climate collage. You put it on a wall and people will be able to come and, uh, and flip the cars like this. Oh, I flip the car and I read what's behind the car and it's going to be a, a poster, a, a pedagogical poster that is here on the wall and it will stay a few days, a few weeks uh, in here. And then the last part of it is a discussion. People will be talking about, so first, how do you feel about this? Climate change is bad news, so some people will be discovering how bad it is, and they will. Uh, some people feel overwhelmed. Uh, they, uh, they can be uh, sad. They can be angry. Uh, so we need to talk about it, and also talk about the solutions. So we have a full hour of discussion about what can we do. Uh, what is the solution according to you, according to me, uh, at, at, your, at uh, our own level, at uh, state level, at the company's level. And we have this discussion. And so the game is, will not solve the issue. It will not solve the, the climate, but the game is the first step. And once you have played it, you will be changing your mind about things and you will, be, you will start to think about the solution. And the, the, the game does not give the solutions, but you will be, uh, now you will be in a movement mm. to start working on it. Mm. And, uh, and that's a very first important step for people to start acting. I totally agree on this one. I think also, like personally, when I played it to game, today, when we did this, um, um, when we played it through, I think it was quite powerful to see, because you do it, it's not like the first that you get all the cards at the same time. It's like staged over different rounds, kind of. And you keep adding it. And I think you kind of realize how the complexity you see a complexity which is kind of first of overwhelming in some way, you're like, oh my god, it's so much. At the same time, because you're kind of creating these pathways yourself, you have a way to really like structure it in your head as well. You have something physical, you actually touched it. So it helps you, I think, to create your own kind of visual collage, as you say, in your head. And then later on you can say, okay, this is an issue, this is a solution, how can I fit it into this bigger picture? And you feel like kind of you can see patterns and you feel the connections to things very powerful. And I think one thing also to mention before we kind of also wrap this up maybe because of time is, that first of all, it's all online, so people can go on Climate Collage and they Google it and they find it, and they can download these cards themselves. They also translate, how many languages again? How many languages? 12, uh, 12 or 13 languages, no, languages. online. And, yeah. and also, 14, 14. And people can contribute more languages, right? Yeah. If they speak more yeah. languages, very, very easy process. Very easy, you download the file, yeah. you make the translation, you send it to us, and it's done. It's there. I mean, in a few days, you, you get it. So anybody who speaks some really obscure languages, please, please help out yeah. these guys. We still don't have Latin. Latin, okay. Yeah, My sister Latin. actually does Latin, maybe she can help there. <laughs> and um, so if this one, but I think also, then you even have a kid's version and an adult version, yeah. which I think is powerful yeah. as well. So if you work with schools, I guess, and like yeah. education institutes, you can do like, you know, you can do this for grown-ups with your friends, with other teachers, but you can also do it with like the kids in school. And you have like two, then maybe later on you do the adult version with them uh, once you get to this level. And I think it's really as someone who has done just a PhD like in Cambridge and kind of has tried to look at IPCC reports, it's tough. And I think even people who write them could agree on this one. And I think to find a way to actually take similar gra like graphs from the IPCC report and make it understandable for people, I think something really, really powerful you work on. Yeah, that's right. Thank Thanks you. so much, Cedric. Yeah, thanks <laughs> so much. Thank you.